will be the grenade men for the T side. Alex on the P250 as well, always nice to see. All Kevlar for Gambit. So where is the bomb site of choice here? Could be A, they are set up for that, but a push in from Ali. Gambit looking for the shots here. Has support on Adren. There's three players here from Space Soldiers looking to fight, but Adren will pick off Major. They sort of isolate him here. The players in this corner looking a bit afraid to peek, but eventually we'll get the trades coming out here. Slight advantage for Gambit, but that will be whisked away as Engine finishes off Hobbit. And now it's a three versus three. What a strange circumstance. And Santaris finds himself positioned in the distraction, but quickly dealt with. Bomb has not been spotted yet, Engine collecting it now. In the meantime, Mo has made a play through Ivy, see nobody's there, and he's going to rotate. But when he goes towards B, Kalex taken down, Engine's in the middle of A site. He's still got the Glock versus a long range USP, so he's at a significant disadvantage. And uh, they could just sit and try and join, patiently tap that USP, but showing his danger there, shooting Mo down to 3 HP. Can't really stay on the high ground too long. He is exposed to a number of different people, and it'll be Fitch to finish him off. 1-0 Gambit. It's a big loss as well. They were unable to get a bomb plant. I don't even feel as though... I mean, although Space Soldiers had players ready to attack Ali, I'm not sure whether or not that was because they were anticipating the aggression from Gambit, have been studying their demos, or whether it was just because they wanted to just put the, in the main bulk of the attack from that position. But either way, afterwards, they were in a spot where they couldn't really easily get to a bomb plant. And that's obviously going to put them in a spot here where they look to force by. So they need some damage here. They've got the Deagles, the Scouts out as well. Santaris is in position, looking for a peek, but there's a flash. Very responsible stuff from Gambit. All the Space Soldiers money on the table. They're all in for this round. Mo and Fitch around a connector position. Dozier alone towards B. Paz asking questions of the smoke, but there's no answer. Calix and Major moving up the IB position. I was just waiting for you to start talking it again, Dan. Yeah, I thought you were just doing and a, I was a just pause. Like, I would just start talking as soon as you yeah, were going to start. I thought it was like a pause for tension. I thought you were doing a thing, James. No. No thing? Okay. Hobbit's going to go back, have a look. You can see he's trying to be careful. Doesn't want to show too much. In the meantime, Engine's been looking for pot shots, but has taken some damage. And there's Antares leaving the building. And uh, Gambit haven't taken any damage yet. Mo's joined Dozier towards the B bomb site. And that's the thing, damage. That's the name of the game. Space soldiers don't have utility to get them through choke points. They've got to force their way through with the bullets. And speaking of which, Adren, easy frags there with the MP9. It's perfect for that job. And still no damage. Kalix, only man standing, has to get something. At least one kill something, please. Kalix looking for Adren. Adren won't want to fight that. He's only got 27 health. He can leave it to his teammates. Now Kalix. It's going to be in kind of a, a weird position. He has to kind of push here. He's got 20 seconds left. You don't want to have a position where you'll die after time. And that's exactly what Gambit will play for if Kalix is to survive on a timeout type situation. But eventually he'll understand this. He pushes forward, is taken down by Doja. At least he gets one with him. But it's honestly, I think, not enough for Space Soldiers in that situation. Yeah. The full force buy means that there will be no AWP on the buy round unless they go with uh, no Kevlar. But even then, I don't think there's enough money. No, there isn't. So don't need a bomb plant, but they are beyond the point of investing to try and get that. So it'll be a slow start for Space Soldiers, and that's perhaps exactly what Gambit wanted. We'll see how it plays out. For this round, it's all Glocks for Space Soldiers. They're not going to uh, run into the blender in this round. Spread out once again. Trying to get every edge they can. There aren't many edges available to Space Soldiers. Only the sharp edge. Yeah, it's not really looking all too good, is it? But it's the nature of how things go. Glocks and then nothing else. Gambit not taking any risks here. I mean, there are some teams that maybe they would have done a two-man alley push or, you know, would have got a bit cheeky towards the B halls, you know, something like that. But Gambit, they're just playing with discipline, just holding, keeping everything simple and awaiting Space Soldiers to come to them. They're just so sort of happy you're just sitting back. Just don't ever say that again. <laughs> it doesn't, it's not a, you're not a fan? It's a horrible word. Oh. It's will end up in a dictionary soon. These players are playing on 240 hertz screens. By the way, had the pleasure of uh, trying one out. 
Ooh, somehow this is this is a five Glock round, Dan, and they've killed two players. Space soldiers are squeezing all the juice from the lemon. Ooh, oh my goodness. Okay, this is starting to get a bit serious. Gambit still obviously with a lot of advantages, although it trends on six HP. My God. If they win this round. Don't say it, James. No. I think Zantara is offering the fake. You can see him with the pre-fire there. He's just trying to draw the players away as much as he can. And Fitch has gone into a passive position, but Mage has got to make a gauntlet run. Zantara is back in the B-bomb site. Adren has taken him down, and Fitch is realizing what's going on. Is he going to stop the plant? Mage is like, please! And he doesn't oh make God. it so close. But look at that. I mean, that was almost a winnable round for Space Soldiers. Santora has essentially suicided on the B-bomb site to try and give them the plant. That plant would have meant an AWP. But the damage they did was way more than you could ask for. They had Glocks. They're like pea shooters. That is, yeah, little spud guns. That's kind of insane. I, because also, Adren had six HP. If Santaris had tagged him with one bullet anywhere on his body, he would have died. You can't so, even shoot peas in Counter-Strike. That's just sort of crazy. Thing. But now they have the double ops to Gabbit, so they are reaching deep into their pockets for that. Space Soldiers, the full AK5, of course, with the full utility. So let's see what they do with this. A lot of teams you know, will be want to just start setting some precedents Look and say, okay, right. here's our set piece on A, and then maybe they can use it as a fake later on. You know, th this is a good time to get a play like that in and just test test Gambit on their, this A defense. Very quickly, Adren running into the main area. Calculated risk with an MP9. And now they know it's relatively safe. They'll keep Fitch there for the time being with some smoke grenades. Very aggressive first buy round from Gambit. It's like Cloud9 on steroids. That's a monstrous grenade as well. Damn, that's almost 100 damage. They have, they have armor. Don't see that all the time, do you? Well, Space Soldiers, if they were going to make a play towards A, obviously the smoke shenanigans deep on T main has certainly offset that potential. And Gambit have actually run out of grenades now. They have one incendiary, one smoke left, really. So Space Soldiers are off to do this late round set piece. They do have a bit of time to do it. 40 seconds, so it's not too desperate just yet. This could very much work out. The Ops won't really be able to do much against the lack of vision. So as long as they clear out the initial riflers, there's a real chance here for Space Soldiers. 27, 26, 25 seconds for these players. Fitch starting to flank. Kalex has to look for that. Two plays out of action for the time being, though, Adren and Fitch. And in the meantime, Dozier will deliver on the B bomb site, as he often does. The bomb dropped by Mo Paz now with maybe a consolation frag. 10 seconds, and nobody is near the bomb. Kalex still looking for the flank. That's all he can do at this point. Lovely shot from him, but no round for Space Soldiers. Gambit prevail. Oh, you feel like they just maybe left it a little bit too late there. They, I, I think they did a really good job. They eliminated all the utility of Gambit. That's the, a huge win right there. They have a bunch left themselves, and they just were unable to really convert here on this B-bomb side, just really taking way too long. And perhaps we'll see an adjustment there later on. Kalix did save an AK. His teammates all have around $3,000 now, so I wonder what their plan is here. I mean, they did a lot with just five blocks, so now, now you can add an AK into the mix. Uh, maybe there's something to be done in this round. We'll see a couple of deagles as well and some grenades. So something to play with. Lots of discussion on the Space Soldiers side. Kalex the man, he will be the can opener for this round. Or will he? Behind his teammates for the time being, but I'm sure they will give space. Maybe one person will show some presence. That person will be Zantares. The crouch peak with the deagle. The alternative AWP is the fun size AWP. I think I think they were expecting a full save there. Dozier actually had the incendiary in, in his hand. He was and he would throw that incendiary if he sees a rush basically. But because he's, he peeked and didn't see it, he threw the smoke. But here is the rush. Indeed, the Molotov on the floor. Dozier has time to get his gun out, and Mo is there once again to deliver a second kill. Space soldiers now. It's their turn to do some damage. Zantares picking off Fitch with the Deagle. Three players remain. Dozier still alive. Six HP once more. A bit rotating around CT, some discussion maybe as to where to go. In fact, he's going all the way back towards the A site, so Space Soldier is slowing things down and Gambit is spreading out. That makes both sites weaker. Better opportunity for Space Soldiers. And maybe, just maybe, they'll get a plant, but they're looking for a pick. They're looking to win this round. This will be so hard, though. I mean, the AWPs down these long channels. Xantaris is kind of acting almost as though he has an AWP, but only a Deagle. 
It's going to be very, very tough. There's one player spotted. It's Dozier. It's got no health, actually. Xantaris might as well go for this. Get some damage in there. Could win a battle. No, he can't. Hobbit holds the angle. Hobbit stays true. So another round for Gambit, but some decent damage, two kills, and a bomb plant. So I think Space Soldiers can be pretty happy with that, because now they will have almost $7,000. That's great. Lots of money in the bank for Space Soldiers. The AWP could have been a reality, but they've chosen to go 5 AKs instead. That's very interesting. I wonder if this is because there are two AWPs in play on Gambit. Maybe we'll see a faster round from them. Maybe we'll see some different strategies than what we otherwise might. Time will tell. Again, lots of discussion on the Space Soldiers side at the moment. Yeah, that's one thing that's been really fun to sort of listen in on, even though we can't really understand what they're saying. They are very, very active, lots of energy. Quick pop flash there for Paz. Obviously, we've seen you know, Dozier playing the B anchor, and that is a flash for him, should he be holding an angle. Or if should there be an AWPA there this round, which can often happen. You can switch out Dozier with an AWPA, or maybe even have an AWPA there just for the opening of the round, and then cycle him back. So that pop flash really deals with a lot of potential problems. The Space Soldiers looking like they're probably going to set up for the A set piece. And it's, again, good to test that out. ASAP. And clearing out. Oh, look, really important to pressure this position before you actually go for that set piece. You don't want to jump down and find there's a two-man setup and you didn't pressure it at all. Mo covering the high ground on B. Actually, as I say that, he's rotating around, but he's far away from the A side is the point. A trend silence that might give his position away, but Xantaris gets taken down. The trade is there. Two players spotted in A. That's a game up for Space Soldiers, but they've got advantages now, but no longer. Hobbit with the AWP taking engine down. Paz on the site. The bomb's been lost, though. Major has to get it back. And Hobbit is in the right angle, but Major's got the high ground, and that will give them the advantage once more. Mo in the back channels with the AWP. Those are around the connector position. 30 seconds left for Space Soldiers to identify where it's safe to plant, but there goes the bomb once more. Paz now with a few pixels of health. Three HP versus two plays. 23 seconds to collect the bomb and try to figure out where to plant it. Oh, Dozier gets the nade in there. Nice one from him. Well, these orbs are proving problematic. Hobbit, absolute god, this round gets himself two very important frags. And there they are. And that really slowed things down, leaving it just to, you know, Paz and Major. And they were not really in a good position. The bomb kept being dropped in awkward spots and so on. So that was interesting, too, because Space Soldiers, they ran into the double orb and they went for an approach which was kind of similar to a contact play and was initiated by Adren's initial aggression. And we didn't see any smokes. So there's still A with smokes. That is still something that they haven't tested out yet. And it gets double orb. That should be quite effective. Rifles once again, no sniper. Calix on the Galil for this round. Gambit looking pretty comfortable for the time being. The money situation isn't spectacular though for Gambit. Damage is being done by space soldiers, but they've only planted a bomb once in six rounds, and that is quite telling to the lack of success they are having at the moment. Major and Paz with presence above B. Xantarez and Calix round Pop Dog. Engine seems to be towards main, so not quite clear where space soldiers may end up. Yeah, not really fun for Calix as well to get tagged through the wall down to 44. That's a lot of damage. See his blood spl splattered across the wall there. And space soldiers still just chilling at the moment, just waiting for their setup to come together. Calix readying the smoke. So here we go. Smokes outside into A. They, and again, remember, we haven't seen that on A from them, so this is a fake. And Gambit don't really have a precedent that they've done that on A just yet, so it's hard to read it, but the AWP is holding strong! Mo gets himself two key kills, and that'll stop the bomb from going down. Incendiary to further block a bomb block, and absolutely devastating rifling right at the end from Fitch. Two headshots. Gambit, they are looking so strong. Yeah, th these rounds, even though some Gambit plays are being lost, they don't necessarily look that challenging at the moment. Gambit have, in a few rounds, run a same default where they'll start one person in B, then Mo will make his way over towards the high ground of Plateau. They, they've had little reason to even change their default. We see there's a tactical timeout from Space Soldiers at the moment, so it's time for them to discuss. And they, they could go for a force buy here. Most of them have got around $4,000. They would be light on grenades unless they sacrifice one or two AK-47. So what they do next will be curious. But again, Gambit uh, are not being, they're nowhere near being outside of their comfort zone. They've got slippers on. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Dressing gown, slippers. 
It's uh, looking pretty nice at the, the moment. The smoking jacket. They're walking the grounds down. Yeah, it's uh, going to be interesting to see, though, whether or not Space Soldiers actually go A with smokes and actually go with it. Because I still feel like that's probably the best play, you know, being up against all, the, all of the AWPs. But Gambit are a very seasoned team, and they're a very, they've always been a very good trained team as well. So they're going to be able to deal with that, even with the double orbs, pretty damn well. It's going to be hard to catch them off guard. They are a very good test right now for Space Soldiers. Lots of very tough obstacles to surmount. Previous major champions starting this off well, but here comes the pistols. Yeah, this is a good opportunity for Gambit to demonstrate why uh, they deserve the respect they've earned by winning that major. Does use conversation has to go away now. It's time for them to tell their own story. Running through the smoke, but slightly too early. Adrenaline looked expectant. The bomb will be planted, some bonus money for Space Soldiers, but they need to win rounds, two versus two. They've done a lot of damage very quickly, there are jewels going in, and Dozy's in the one versus one, and Paz makes it work. Finally, Space Soldiers get onto the scoreboard. Wow. Paz <laughs> again. With the AWP, this guy he's had no bullets, and the CZ picks up the AWP, gets a no-scope, and then just has the presence of mind to know to just get that lock on straight towards the pop dog position. Oh my <laughs> God, what an absolute, what is this 360? <laughs> These pads. Marvelous stuff, but the challenge has just begun for Space Soldiers. They are at the foot of the mountain. They have to win this. If they may, they may feel like it's GG if they don't. We might be looking at an 11-1 scoreline and that's not the start we wanted or the one, the one they wanted. I mean, we want a competitive match. We don't want a landslide, but Gambit most certainly do. Hobbit with the tightest of angles, plus two players brazen enough to peek them, and he will fall. We're seeing a very, very big pace here, or a very fast pace from Space Soldiers. They're really upping the speed of this game now, taking Ali very quickly, and that's a great response to losing a player early. Kalix out of the picture, but maybe his friends, his mates, his comrades can avenge his death as they look to pressure from two sides now. The key man could be Paz. He's coming out from Pop Dog relatively soon, or could do. He's actually not down the stairs just yet, I don't think. Now he's about to go down there, but you can see he's not checked it just yet. They may be waiting for that, but maybe they've waited too long here. Major gets picked off, and again, Paz. Now I think he's been spotted as well. How does he get out of this position? They're sort of stuck in the mud at this point. It's very hard for Space Soldiers to find a way out, and you can see the bombs rotated back through Ali, through to T-Spawn. Despite Space Soldiers taking Ivy, possibly for the first time in this match, they had no one to compromise the positions of Gambit. Paz too late in the pop dog position, and they fall one by one. This play is flat like a domino, and the worst has happened for Space Soldiers. This is disaster. This is them underneath some rubble. Send out the search parties. Yeah, at least they only need one save, as they do have some bank to get a full buy-in. So I would imagine a P250 round or something similar, or even less investment. So far, we only see one P250 from Major. Kalix could drop a couple if he wanted to, but maybe he wants to save money to drop the orb later, which would be smart. Gets himself a deagle, and oh, actually drops one for Xantaris as well. So two deagles and a P250 in this round for Space Soldiers, but you're right. I mean, they got into a spot where they just didn't know what to do. They just got all stuck, and they needed Paz to push out, but Major sort of pushed out too early before Paz could create a distraction. I think that was where things really started to fall down, so this is looking like a really good veto for, for Gambit so far. Inferno was the one left open. We saw him struggle on Inferno. But if Space Soldiers are confident on Train, there's still time to make a comeback. There most certainly is. Six to nine is what they're likely looking at from this point. First, we'll see what they can do with these pistols. Two AWPs. Been in play for a while now. And again, Space Soldiers have kept the Gambit money honest. They would love some more damage in this round. Yeah, that, that's a, it's a really good point. Like, this is a round which could otherwise, you might look at it and be like, oh, you know, not, not much is going on here. But each frag is actually very crucial for Space Soldiers' ability to, to rack up rounds should they win a buy round. And as Jane said, their money is very low here. Gambit lose two players. That's actually a very big deal. And there's a really solid chance. God, oh, Kalix very close. Hobbit takes down Paz. Doesn't see the trade fragger coming out into position. The Deagle collected. Could be more damage here. Major looking for the next peak. And very disciplined play to finish off the round from Gambit. But two kills. And again, that will go somewhere here for the Space Soldiers side. But only if they can convert in a buy round, which they've been unable to really do so far. 
But again, it would be nice to see Moradi play more sort of A play around smokes, but perhaps they'll, uh, they'll pick something else. We'll see. Look how close Zantares is to his screen. I'm surprised he's not wearing three pairs of glasses, really filling his vision. All that's in his mind is the screen. But can he fill the eyes of Gambit with bullet holes? That is a question. Doesn't look likely at the moment. One to nine, back on the buy space soldiers, back with the five AKs. Haven't particularly favored the AWP in the few times they've had the opportunity to buy one in this half. Another two for Gambit. A faster play from Space Soldiers trying to capitalize on the uh, one player in the B bomb site, but Dozier is always doing damage, always multi kills for him. Engine and Paz delivering some kills. The trajectory tops and one more person's there at least. A trend around the corner of the smoke, and Paz will take him out. Big plays from Paz. Run connectors very hard to know how far to go and when to initiate the play, but he's done well so far with the double. Two orbs left now, just one Mo looking for the shots there. We'll miss a very critical one. Maybe that is his chance, it's dashed here. Not sure if he's gonna be offered up too much more. He tries to back out, but Kalex and Paz will pressure him down. And a much needed round for Space Soul, just really upping the pace towards B. But as you said, Dozier, he has been really incredible. I thought he would die for nothing. Gets two kills with the Molotov drops and the running backwards M4. Really nice from Dozier, he's having a great game. If you're playing B on your own and you get two kills, you've done a fantastic job. Yep. It's it's every so often you see a T side try and make the fast play when they know it's very likely there's only going to be one person there. And you, you're playing the numbers game, but those you're shorten those numbers. And the money's been shortened for Gambit. We see the issues with their buy. Fitch on the CZ, those you're on the UMP. Importantly, though, Mo is still on the AWP. Yeah, let's see what he can get with it. He's on the top of the green train at the moment. And as a T, you have to be so careful not to get picked off. Oh, the pop flash play into T main. That's very good for Fitch. Gets himself the AK upgrade and the kill onto Kalix. Now, this poses a lot of issues because he, he can be just, he can just lurk in this position for the rest of the round if he wants to. And Space Soldiers always have to worry about the flank. They always have to worry about the fact that their plays might be telegraphed because of all the information Gambit has. Adrenaline Fitch, relentless aggression around the main area. And they've they've been given little reason not to. They've experienced almost nothing but success, but it's the man Zantorez looking to open things up, but he can't go too far because he's carrying the bomb. He can't throw the bomb on the floor because that's too much information for Gambit. So he's kind of stuck in this position. Major's coming close, and there we go. He's deployed the bomb to Major, so it hasn't hit the floor. They don't know it's there. But now he's looking for the info. Spots the first player, Fitch. Is he ready for the second one, though? No. Looks like he might be, but no. Adren clutching 100 ping. Only good for the one kill, though. Major coming in now. Yeah, Hobbit on the green train exposes himself, but he is looking so sharp at the moment. Paz, one versus three. 20 seconds on the clock. Doesn't have the bomb and now no longer has a life to cling on to. Mo will take it away as Gambit take themselves to 10 rounds on their CT side. And there's Prospect for many more. Oh man, they look so, so good at the moment. Gambit, so solid. Both of these teams looking for a 2-1 scoreline. Regardless of the outcome of this match, they'll both be in action tomorrow. Maybe more than once. Two to ten space soldiers getting spanked at the moment. Dozier will continue. Early B on his own. With four plays for Gambit towards Ooh. A. Zantaris, what was that? Can he get more though? He's looking for it. He spots the head, but it's he who's dead. And all of a sudden, Engine and Paz are the last men standing. A spark of brilliance from Zantares, but that's it. It was put out pretty quickly. It's a candle in the wind. What was that from Zantares? I'm still trying to process this. Unreal stuff. That's what he's known for as well. These insane one taps. So fast. An engine needs to be fast as well. Oh, there's an AWP on the floor there. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's a very dead adren. Engine has more bullets left and is going to be caught in the back. Very unfortunate for him, but honestly, an impossible situation. 11 rounds for Gambits and Space Soldiers are trying their best to get something else going, but now the best prospect is four and they don't have any Look money to this. play with. The full Zantares. Oh my God, that is insane. Yeah, but it's 2-11, man. I don't care, James. Look at this. We've got the slow motion. 
one taps. Oh boy, it's just as he's disappearing. <laughs> I don't understand. He's doing his best, but his best is only good for two rounds of 13 here on Train versus Gambit. And they're back on the crappy pistols with no Kevlar, no grenades, no rifles, no SMGs, no shotguns. Pots and pans. It's a pots and pans round. Someone call Anders. Dab hand with a pan. Well, this is, uh, I mean, we've seen, we saw that five o'clock rounds do incredible damage. They've got a P250. That seems like a significant upgrade <laughs> to five clocks. But so far, Gambit, I mean, they, have, they are better equipped as well. They don't have really anything that they are going to give up here for space soldiers. Quick flash there for Peak onto Ali, get some info. And again, it's a spot where you don't really want to smoke off the long range choke points if you are Gambit, which is why we're not seeing those. Ooh, my goodness. Ding dong. Yeah, instant dink. But what, what does it mean, ultimately? What does it mean? He's got 32 health, James. It's like listening to Ratchet Hip Hop. What does it mean? No one knows what it means. Moving close to the smoke now. Those are uh, it's getting cheeky. He's looking for somebody on the box, but he'll take out the plays regardless. Three kills for him, drawing for the CZ. Even throws the rifle on the floor in case somebody picks it up and sees it has no bullets. Smart stuff from Dozier. A small detail there. Great presence of mind, showing his experience. 12 to 2. Yeah, Dozier's having an awesome game, but it's not just Dozier. Adren's having a great game. Mo as well, right up there with him. They've all got uh, basically the same frags around the 15. Can I just say, mark. I love the fact that Gambit wear polos and Na'Vi as well. I'm a big fan of polos over the general kind of sporting game shirts. Do you starch your polos, James? No. I like to starch you, perhaps. I'm a man. I put in machine, I press button. <laughs> well, <laughs> space soldiers. Need to find some buttons, additional buttons to press here. I don't know, something. What they've been doing has not been working. Of it. It can be quite difficult to play this position. It's one of the harder CT spots to play, but when you have an orb, it's much nicer. There's the peak from Xantaris. You can see the way Hobbit's positioned. It makes it very hard for a trade fragger to actually have an angle on him. He can always fall back before the trade fragger is available to an angle on him. So not a good start here for Space Soldiers. Down Zantaras, Zantaras, their star player immediately. He's done some damage, but looking good. Hobbit on the ladder with the AWP. One minute mark and Space Soldiers are biding their time, perhaps waiting for an overextension, but it's not likely. Adren with a 2K ladder. Not really working out for Space Soldiers. Have you been injured at work? Maybe Space Soldiers need the phone number. Injured and Calyx remain. 35 seconds. And Calyx has to concede his map control to go and pick up the bomb. Even with these kills. Unless they gamble and go for kills by elimination. Win by elimination. Yeah, he's going for the push instead. One versus three. All he can do at that point is push into the site, forget about the bomb, try and win by elimination. But elimination is not their friend, it's their enemy at the moment. 13 to 2 for That's Gambit. That's a solid half. It's crazy, isn't it? It's a very solid half. Never wavering Gambit. I, I do feel like there's a lot of stuff Space Soldiers could have tried, but they sort of didn't. Stuff that you could see in the repertoire of a lot of top-level teams on train on the T side. But Ultimately, Gambit were very solid, and I, I felt like even if Space Soldiers only got five rounds, they, they would have a good chance to play out their game on the CT side. But two rounds, honestly, they need a, they need, obviously need the perfect start, and just nothing can go wrong. There's no margin for error, essentially. This is, this is incredibly hard to play for them. So here it is. It's all on the pistol round, essentially. It's all on every round. Yep. But, I mean, they could entirely have a super strong CT half, but of course... It starts with the pistol. Worst case scenario, a force buy, but that would be too close for comfort. So let's see what Gambit have to offer Space Soldiers. Three players going towards the IV position. Very limited success in this area for Space Soldiers in the first half. Engine spotting a run boost, so he knows at least two players are here. But what can he do with that information? Looking for the jewels, he gets flashed off, though he gets grenaded, and he still gets a kill and manages to escape. Adren picked off towards main by Santaros as well. So far, so good. Yeah, like it from Engine, very cheeky. Still, though, three players left. 
Let's see where the headshots fall here. Fitch makes his way forward, he wants to check hell, but he didn't check it properly. Kalix there gets the two bullets, two kills, very smooth. Perhaps he's been watching Taco on the pistol round. We'll see whether they can convert, though, because it's not been the easiest thing here for some teams to face up against the force by round of the T side. Gambit. Maybe they've got uh, some interesting plays for this kind of a round. Again, it's a, a team with a great playbook. Will it be a third round buy, perhaps? Because they have spent precisely zero gambits. They have bought nothing in this round. I, I, don't, I kind of don't like it be just because they have such a big advantage. They just need to maximize the amount of buy rounds they have. And no, Dan. They want to be pure. <laughs> pure as the driven snow. Well, I guess we'll see how it works out. Maybe they've got some six strats for it. I can't wait to see. Here we go, Gambit. Four plays in the high ground. Hobbit's managed to make his oh. way down. Santara's popping some heads, and Major won't deny the bomb plant. So yeah. with minimal, well, with zero investment, they've planted the bomb. And that changes things dramatically, because now they can actually, I think they can get AKs out if they want. Yeah, they can get all AKs. So just the, just the very fact of that bomb plant, that, that actually should not happen in a round where it's like a full block save. But the thing is, the reason why that works is because we can see the positioning of space soldiers is that they expect the force buy in that situation. And so in not seeing a force buy, and then you know you have these really far back positions to be safe against it, you actually give up the space for a bomb plant. Pure so as the driven snow. It's actually really smart from Gambit. Especially Hobbit. That was really smart. Gambit, the team who had the heroes welcome when they made it back to Kazakhstan. Dozy was there as well, having a good time. I was really happy to see that. I wanted that for them. Which is why I got it, but there we go. Fitch, the man knows his angles. Hobbit's been taken out. That's a good start for Space Soldiers. They need starts like this. They need that confidence back after getting whipped. Yeah, that's kind of brutal, wasn't it? Well, Gambit, they're not done yet just uh, just yet this round. They have obviously a lot of potential for damage and even to win the round should they open up the right areas, create the right distractions. And Doji could be that man here. He's playing alone by Ali. He's isolated one of the two players. He's going to have to... Oh, he's going to push through it. We'll go down. So Gambit now, just three players left and they will move to B. You can see Paz is set up for a very fast flank. And He's aiming for a crouching player as well, it's worth noting. Because he's expecting two players to fly down at the same time. And Gambit, they don't have enough players to cover everything here. The, the flank could be devastating. Space Soldiers, five versus three. Two kills through the smoke, make it three. Zantares has X-ray vision, he's Superman. Or at least he needs to be for Space Soldiers. Nobody lost for the side on the CTs. Eight rounds until they catch up. Sometimes you wonder if this is going to be like one of those games where one team looks super dominant and then the other team on the, on the half switch looks super dominant. Yeah. Because we know that the, uh, Space Soldiers are very capable of that and Train can go like that be just be because of the nature of the way map control works. You're kind of in a site or you're not, which is a, kind of a unique aspect of this map. So we'll see whether Gambit can get the ball rolling. Obviously, this is a full save from them, looking like they just want to dive into B. Bomb is a little bit far away though, so this will be interesting. Major has the AWP, he's close. This could be very dangerous for him. Ooh. Alex is there with the support here, but still Fitch could be a problem. 11 health for him. Major gets one, but there it is, the headshot from Fitch. But the cover's there. Yeah, Zantara is on the site as well. And Gambit get another bomb plant. They just keep stealing these plants away with minimal investment. This time, a few bits and bobs were purchased, but not a whole lot. And again, it's a job well done as far as that is concerned. Only one kill for Gambit, but the, uh, the bonus money is important as well. It will give them more buys, better buys. All the buys. The CTs get slightly more money as well for the defuse versus the elimination. A difference of 250 for each player. How nerdy of you, then. Yeah. I respect that. Indeed. Got to know your economy in CSGO. 6-13. Space Soldiers, you know, they've got the AWP on Major. It was very in his positioning was very interesting that previous round, actually. Being sort of the anchor of the B-Site, sort of, you know, the most forward player there with the AWP. No one else having one. Very interesting. We'll see how he plays this one out. He's uh, actually, again, moving towards B with the support of Zantaris. It's the most special. Looking for those dirty warbangs. But Gambit choose to remain clean. Fitch and Hobbit making their way towards the B-Bomb site. Major with the forward position. But they identify him without it costing a life. 
And it seems that Mo will be making his way over towards B, maybe looking to uh, take Major down if he opts for a re-aggression. Engine picked off through the smoke. Some revenge there for Gambit. Can they capitalize on this though? One minute 20 for them to uh, take a decision. Santara's moving around the IV position. Three smokes down on the map for the time being. Gambit moving away from IV. So can a Gambit take advantage of these uh, CT positions to the back of A? A stark difference to Gambit, who was so aggressive playing around main on so many rounds. Yeah, it's a very hard frag to lose so early on because it really affects the CT rotation. Major wanted to play closer with the orb, but that actually forced him back a lot. And there's a smoke which sort of denies a lot of the vision for Major. So this is a really big question mark. And this rotation comes in from Space Soldiers. They will actually be rotating in time here. They've got a good read, maybe Gambit a little bit too slow, and more smokes to come in. Could have actually been body blocked potentially there, but either way, Xantaris very fast in a forward position. Space Soldiers are set up very well. Gambit are taking ages to execute this set piece, and Paz is in position now as well. He gets himself to almost a third, but Xantaris is there for the cleanup with the double, and James, Gambit, they took so long. Yeah, man, they took too long. Santaros with the Hulk smash, another round in the bag for Space Soldiers. The deficit now reduces to six, but that is still a lot of rounds. Gambit, don't get the plant on that occasion, but there have been five rounds in this half so far, and uh, they've got two plants in five of those rounds, in two plants in those five rounds, should I say. There we go. I can speak English sometimes. And uh, to also to note that those are when they've got no money, basically, yeah. and no, no investment. And Maybe we should expect it's a streak. Will it continue, James? Because this is another one of those rounds. Yeah, well, now they've reached maximum loss bonus. So the buys will be stronger and the ECOs will be stronger. Danger will be more frequent for space soldiers. I think uh, the tactical is definitely to sort of think about, okay, do we buy here with the money's not really perfect? It's like Mo can't afford an AWP, can't afford even an AK. So with, with armor at least and grenades. So, oh, he's actually gonna go to Galil. So they oh. decide to actually go for the full buy. There's definitely an argument for Gambit there to half buy um, and just try to play as many firearms as possible. They still have a good lead because things are beginning to get out of control. During the timeout, Major was barking instructions at his henchmen. Three players around Connector, more or less, for Space Soldiers. Around Connector, slash the bomb site. Calixto rotating towards the IV position. Can try and keep an eye on the Olofmeister area. But still, very different approach from Space Soldiers. Don't have that aggression towards main. Don't have the aggression towards Pop Dog. Nobody in there for the time being. Apart from Fitch, actually, he hasn't been smoked off, and he'll be looking for players on the high ground like Calix. Calix has to be really careful he doesn't get picked off for free. And training on the T side is so much about creating split opportunities onto the defense, and so for the CTs, you're thinking about how do we deny the, their ability to split from the three positions. And so often CTs will try to attack one of those positions to stagger that push, and that's how CTs can combat it. Space Soldiers, they're taking a very passive approach. It looks like Gambit could just get a full-on full, full -on three-man split. Oh, uh -oh. This is, oh, this is so sick. Hobbit didn't see through the smoke, though. Oh, Calyx is safe. He's safe for now, James. Yeah, that might be uh, a spot of luck for Space Soldiers. And a credit to Space Soldiers, they waited until just above the minute mark to throw that smoke in the first place towards Pop Dog. Play spotted towards Ivy, but it's just a Dren. As Antares, Calyx, and Paz now all rotating towards the B bomb site. They seem to have some information. Major at the back of the site now. But can a Dren bring them back towards A? It seems he can. They're rotating. They're all, they're all leaving B. And now Major's going back. Space Soldiers have no idea what's going on. I can't believe they rotated everyone. Oh, Major, he's got himself two here. The third as well. It doesn't stop, and now they're charging down the lanes, and that's an easy finish onto Mo. Oh, my God, Major. Beautiful all play from him. It's kind of incredible, sort of, how deep the talent is on Space Soldiers sometimes. You know, Paz, absolutely unreal all per. Major under pressure, delivers. I thought they were screwed. They were all out of position. That was crazy. Gambit deployed all their grenades, though. Maybe a smoke would have been helpful, but uh, I mean, they sold a good fake. Yeah, it has to be said. Adren making a play towards Ivy, they went back and forth. Mental tug of war, but Major got back just in time and almost looks like there's some frustration yeah, on the side angry. of Gambit. They have not won a single round in this half. Only two T rounds have been won in this entire match. <laughs> 
is we is is there some like weird thing going on? We're like back in 1.6. We're playing 1.6 right now. We're playing train. There were like two rounds on the T side. Was actually like that's what you're expecting to get. Three, do you remember? Three or four is amazing. An amazing T half. When you could crawl underneath the trains. Yeah, I definitely do, and I hated it. <laughs> My brightness settings were always really bad. It's like being a cat with a gun. Major is uh, depended upon so much by his team. Often put in situations where he's alone on B. You see it on overpass as well, sometimes. It's really uh, interesting dynamic on the Space Soldier side that you don't really see from uh, other teams as much. Those you're harassing towards the IV position, looking for another pick through the smoke while Gambit bide their time. Gambit who uh, may be moving into the Pop Dog position with Fitch and Hobbit. Do wonder if those smokes will start to come in though from Space Soldiers. Will it be at the same time? It was around now that Pop Dog was smoked off last time. Calix has a molly, but no smoke. There's a smoke from the CT side. So that's something that Gambit can read into and maybe try to abuse in the rounds to come. But for now, there are five zero seconds on the clock and Gambit have almost no utility left. Yeah, this is pretty interesting actually. Gambit really wants to split onto the A side. But it's been difficult for them to get forward in some of these positions like the like Dozier and Ali has been struggling to get a forward spot there. So this is not going to be perfect here from Gambit, but maybe they can make it work if they hit the shots. Have a trade initially as Fish starts to charge his way down, but he gets denied. And there's a lot of denying going on here from the Space Soldiers side of things. They are absolutely holding this together. Hobbit last man standing towards Pop Dog and they simply couldn't get into position and coordinate in time. Did you, did you see the way Fitch was running in? It seemed he had no idea where to look for a CT. And yeah. he was exposed to maybe three, four different places. I don't think Gambit seemed to have a solution. It was so weird that they had such little utility left. It's supposed to be the CTs who are low on utility at that point. But again, with, with uh, reasonably regular timing, Space Soldiers, Smoke of Pop Dog, for example, um, so Gambit now, they've had enough evidence of that. They need to be expectant of that and try to find a way to to use that as an advantage somehow if they go out just before or around a minute mark or they're throwing a grenade, I don't know. But uh, this is a pistol round from Gambit. It's a buy between buys. And they don't really have much to play with here. They're rushing through the smokes and having very limited success once again. They picked up an M4 onto Hobbit. They don't have the bomb, however. The bomb is surrounded. The helicopters are out, the, light, the lights are on. And they are scurrying to cover. Nice peek from Calix. One thing to note about Space Soldiers is that, and I think this is one of the things that's really a struggle for Gambit, is that Space Soldiers are playing very passive setups at the moment. They're not actually offering up much of a fight. One of the things I said before about uh, the dynamic for a T side on train is, if you want to ha have success with A plays, you have to be able to coordinate splits. A way the CTs can deal with that is playing aggressive into some of those positions so that you can't get them. Maybe it's Pop Dog, maybe it's Team A, maybe it's an alley play, and you deny that split potential. But Space Soldiers aren't really doing that. They're just playing really passively, allowing Gambit to try to work those positions and just staying tight to their setups. Gambit on the buy once more. Still looking for their first round in the second half. But even then, what happens the round after? Space soldiers are rolling around in cash now, like Huel in Breaking Bad, and that compounds the problems for Gambit. Adren taken down early, starting to move into the A side once again. Can they have any more success? It's a late rotation this time from Major. Has to get more than one kill here. Lots of T's behind the smoke, maybe a chance to escape. Possibilities now. Two orbs to go for the retake. A bit awkward, but it's engine and major. Pretty much everyone seems to be able to walk on this team and pass. In trouble there. Lots of damage done to him. Right now, Gambit, they're just holding positions. They have time to do so. They don't have to go for the plot. And that's perfect. This pause of play has caused nothing but problems for Major and his lineup. As now he is the last man standing. And Gambit may finally feel that it is safe to plant. Again, there's no rush. And here it is, Major now. Trying to find something, but Dozier has the angle. And this is Gambit abusing Space Soldier's passive plays. Because if you play really passively, you can get through Pop Dog and Team Aim for free. And that's exactly what they did. Space Soldiers, instant rebuy, loads of money. They've lost that one round, but again, 
Losing that round provides its own opportunity if Space Soldiers can win this round. Gambit, from the Space Soldiers point of view, survived though with too many players, three players alive, so there may be another buy after this one. But opportunity knocks for Space Soldiers. If they can win this, it'll be easier for, theoretically at least, for Space Soldiers to win the rounds afterwards, to continue the comeback. I like the change from Space Soldiers. They're playing more forward in the yard. And this is the good response because, again, that is the way you stop these, these splits from Team Main and from Popdog. And this is why they have to leap through the smokes. Great angles here. Paz gets himself too. Kalix burns the Dren. And now the T's are struggling to get out the choke points. Exactly what you want if you're on the CT side. Dozier against three gets himself one, but there's still so much to do. Where are the last two players? He knows Mage is a B player. Could be flanking, could be connector, could be round the back, and that's where Mage is headed. Engine still on A for the time being, and Dozier will reset the situation. CT's too far away to hear these sound cues. Oh, he's going all the way around. Minutes on the clock for Dozier, and he is he's on tour. He's got his he's got his Kodak camera, he's got his Polaroid, he's got his fanny pack Man with foreign tour. with foreign currency. He's on a great journey. But Major seems to be aware of this. He's holding angles. Oh, but it's not a good angle for him, is it? Dozier now discovered less than 30 seconds to collect the bomb and get a plant in. Now, that is very key information for Engine, who wants to play the time. That's a more safe way to do this. You don't want to take the engagement. You don't want to risk it against the AK. It's a spot. Takes the engagement and loses it. Didn't have to do that. Doji didn't have any time. He could have just tried to face, get the attention, and then force Doji into a desperation play. But instead, Doji with a 1v2 clutch. But this is kind of a questionable play from Engine. You have no business holding the jewel there. And that's 15 rounds for Gambit. And you can see what it means to him. That was quite the clutch from Doji. Got his jogging game on. And he's put Gambit on match point. Maybe it was inevitable. Hobbit and Mo Double sniper rifle on the T side. Stark different to Space Soldiers who shied away from it for the most part. Even on one player. Engine now in the middle of Ivy. Major again. Still alone towards the B-bomb site. Holding his angle. This is a great adjustment, actually, because one thing Space Soldiers may feel inclined to do is an alley push. It's not something they have tried yet. And Gambit has showed that they, the last few rounds, they wanted to play uh, no one around alley. So it would be a great moment for Space Soldiers to push it. And this is Gambit just like reading the game very well and now seeing that that is so an expectation that could be there for Space Soldiers. But Space Soldiers are doing the safer thing and just not taking a risk early on. But not taking risks is sometimes the worst thing to do. Sometimes you have to take the risks. No. Can he find a pick here? Will Engine go for it? It's very, very dangerous. Engine knows an AWPA could be here. He heard the scoping. Nothing there for Mo. He will fall back. Gambit maybe going for an A play again. We'll have to see. They seem to be making blind reads at this point, Space Soldiers. They've put three people in the B-bomb site now. Santara is holding an off angle on the low ground. Major with the high. And Paz is there as well. But will it be the right read? It seems it could be bomb rotating away from main and they've sent adrenaline for the fake will he make the space soldiers over rotate once more hobbit has he spotted something towards the b bomb site does he have information now it's fitch making plays in towards the b bomb site and the bomb's going towards a adrenaline is still undetected on the a site actually calyx now rotating back towards a space soldiers once again have no idea what's going on engine with a pick though he's taken adrenaline out the clock is running down as eight seconds now to plant this bomb and dose is only making his way there now going for desperation plant but he spotted shot from underneath the train and Space Soldiers are bringing it back. Timeout win for them. Maybe it will be all the rounds. Yeah, we might go all the way here. This is really interesting. Uh, as you mentioned before, the money is ruined for Gambit. So lots of considerations. No margin of error now for Space Soldiers, though. And they will have to take some risks. Again, I mean, you can just keep trying to play passively. But the problem is, the longer you do that, the better and better Gambit will start to adjust to it. And we've seen that over the course of this half. They're starting to find some good adjustments. They he tried to play in the rotation there. Bozia took an arrow to the knee down. Yeah, he did. And he will never be the same. Four rounds left. Gambit's money has been decimated. The piggy bank's been smashed. The mattress has been turned over. 
I don't know where else people keep money. Fitch, Dozier, and Mo towards the IV position. Fitch is the one to watch with the AK-47. Looking for a peek, looking for a, a seek of information from space soldiers. We have Calyx and Engine around the IV position. The bomb's been left outside, mate. No one close to it at the moment. Let's see what Gambit can do. Waiting for the smoke to disappear. Fitch has a smoke of his own, as does Dozier. Hobbit's now collected the bomb. And we reached a minute mark. Engine there, just trying to slow things down with the incendiary. He has support from Calyx by the green train. And boost here for Fitch. Really nice. But again, space soldiers, very, very passive. Engine has been sort of picked off before through smokes and stuff towards this position. And this position is all about information. And it's, you don't you just don't want to die. That's that's like why this position is very hard to play. And here goes Fitch. Engine though, he's got an AK of his own. Spray comes in and it'll line up for him. He gets a lot of damage, but he'll go down, but it's fine. He's got support from Calyx, who awaits. And what a welcoming party it is. Santaris and Calyx, a dynamic duo. 12 rounds now for Space Soldiers, three away from securing an overtime here to push this forwards. What a what a match though. <laughs> Yeah, no plant for Gambit in, uh, well, there's been no plant for a while, actually. So that lets Space Soldiers edge ever closer, but Gambit can buy the odd pistol. And we'll see one flash and one smoke grenade. Perhaps a desperation plant can come into play. We've seen rounds one with less, though. You never know. And they are at match point. Every round, they'll be looking to take it over the line if they can. They'll be playing their best CS. Major, very aggressive towards the B-bomb site. And he may have some target practice soon. Missing the first shot, however, but he will re-aggress. He sees a lot of players there, but it's a too long a rotation. The bomb's been left behind, and that's going to let Zantares get into position. He's going to get flanks, Major. Adren goes up the ladder, takes him out from the back, and now Adren's got an AWP. Dozier moving through a smoke to plant the bomb. And these will really be worth their weight in gold at the moment as they get tossed into that very crap position at the back of the bomb train. Calyx will encircle them with the AK spray. There's not much they can do now. They've all been laid out by Calyx, and it's just Dozier left. He's going to be able to pick up the AWP. Maybe he can get a cheeky frag in here. He's going to go for it. Maybe not. He's going to go back and save it. And that's a good call. But the bomb has been planted, and that's going to be additional money to Gambit to make further plays. Very much needed, that money. And that will allow them the fullest of buys. And Dozier even saving AWP must be nice. But there's still a long way to go for Gambit. And uh, I thought it was quite uh, funny that Major didn't just like hold a tight angle to wait for the ladder push, as he saw it was completely clear. But I guess he was tunnel visioned on the bomb. Um, well, with the AWP, his barrel would have shown where he was looking if he looked towards the ladder. So if anyone's picking him from upper, he would have been exposed. Basically, he was screwed. Ultimately, he was in a lot of trouble. Mo has the saved AWP, and there are four AKs on the Gambit side. This is the round. It must be the round for Gambit. Otherwise, we are very likely heading to overtime. The Molotov makes it very hard for Mo to see uh, through. It's very difficult to deal with as an AWPer. Often costs you your position. One thing to know as well is that after the CT throws that Molotov, he has to understand that the next place Mo is going to look is on top of the trains. So you don't throw the Molotov and then go on top of the trains if you ex like immediately if you expect there to be an AWPer trying to pick, because you'll force him to look into that spot and then you'll wreck yourself, basically. So good presence of mind from Space Soldiers, not to make that mistake. Interestingly, you saw on a small screen a player jumped past Major's angle. He took a shot. And that caused Zantaras to instantly ro rotate towards B after knowing now that Gambit have possession of upper B area. But Gambit, they showed presence there, and they're looking to go for an A execute. So that's one less person on the A site now for the CTs. Oh, the timing of the flash there could absolutely screw Paz. Indeed, Paz taken out of the picture. The timing. Oh my goodness, three left for Space Soldiers. Is this the moment? Zantaras has something to say about it. Gets himself one, but quickly dispatched by Fitch. As Major and Engine are now the only men left standing in the way of Gambit's victory here. Nice pick off from Engine. Major's in there as well. It's a two versus two all of a sudden, and there could be a chance for Space Soldiers. 
23 seconds. There's time pressure to plant the bomb, but they know how dangerous Major is. Where is he? He's been jumping around. I don't know, though, if they've heard him. The grenades suggest no. But the Molotov now he's trying to buy time. 12 seconds. The bomb still hasn't been collected by these teams. He's moving forward. Tags the leg. The pistol's there, but the trade is immediate. Gambit, stop it from happening. No more comeback for Space Soldiers. Two to one, Gambit go. Just imagine if Major gets the body shot, not the leg there on the jumping player. Maybe he has a chance, but I think Space Soldiers will look back at this game and think that they had many chances to secure this one. As you can see what it means to Major to concede this match, but they're not done in this tournament. Space Soldiers are still alive and have a lot to show. And we all have the force of the desk on that one after the break.